Editing is all Mac-based now. I mean, you know, there are programs out there on the PC, but whether you're using Avid or using Final Cut Pro, you're working on a Macintosh. Using a Mac is a little different than using a PC. It's not so much operating a computer as it is sort of tricking it, fooling it into doing what it is you really want it to do. Uh, you kind of have to sneak up on a Mac. I don't feel like I'm operating the Mac so much as I'm just there sharing the Mac experience. And if I can do something useful while the Mac is willing, so much the better. One of the coolest features of the Macintosh is it's really easy to shut down. Uh, all you have to do is be using a piece of software and then poof, it goes away. It's gone, it's shut down. You didn't push any buttons, you didn't close, you didn't even save. It's just gone. Unless you want to shut down a Mac, oh, that's a whole other story. I mean, you try to close a program and it locks up, and then you do that funny, what is it, the cloverleaf period thing? These unnatural and ultimately useless interrupt keys. Then nothing moves. Then you push the power button and it won't turn off. You go around and unplug it, and you better hope you're not on a laptop, because then you got to find the damn battery and try to pull that out or the thing will never shut down. So I put my CD in the CD-ROM tray, and I'm copying media off that CD, dragging it onto my desktop, dragging it onto my desktop, dragging it onto my desktop. I eject it, and where did my files go? It's the only operating system I know of where click and drag does not mean you actually copy or move anything. No, you're just making shortcuts on your desktop. So I've got my next CD, and I slam it into the CD-ROM tray, and lo and behold, it starts playing all by itself. I'm looking for a way to turn it off. Finally, out of desperation, I click and drag the CD into the garbage can, the system locks up. So I go to the Cloverleaf period spacebar thing, hoping I can stop the program, and I get a little caution window saying, careful, interrupting this program may lock up the system. I try to click OK, but the system's already locked up! I like the handle here. That's so you can attach a chain and use it as a boat anchor! The Mac is practicing some kind of bizarre psychological warfare on me because I'm working late at night, and at the corner of my eye I keep seeing this thing jumping up and down. The update manager is bouncing at the bottom of the screen like a Jack Russell fucking terrier! So I'm looking around in the list of the files trying to find the executable it wants me to update, and if I click on any one of them by accident, I rename it! Oh no, it's been renamed nothing. It was some kind of important system file, and the computer crashes! On a PC, no data is really lost. I mean, there's a way to undelete a file. If you know what you're doing in DOS, you can go in and recover anything that's been corrupted. On a Mac, if you lose a file, you run to the store and get a copy of the Mac version of Norton Utilities. You run back only to have Norton go, You idiot! You own a Macintosh! The file is fucking gone! It's just gone! don't have any tools or any kind of buttons or whatever dials or switches in the bottom of the screen because if you reach for them, the dock menu comes up. Ah! You've got to like angle around and slide and dodge the thing to get to the control. It's kind of like boxing with your computer. I can put it on the bottom, I can put it on the left, I can put it on the right. No, I can't put it on the top. That's reserved for the mighty blue apple. Gah! My name is Hunter Kressel, I'm an editor, and I cut together everything you saw tonight on a Macintosh. Mac killed my inner child.